this word. Look at it. Just look at this one. Just look at the first question. Like I said, how do you know this is horizontal projection? You watch out for the word, a body is projected horizontally. Okay? But at times, they may not include that word. You can see the question one. It says, a pool ball leaves 0 0.6 meter high table. If a ball has to leave a table, this is a table. This is a ball. If the ball has to leave a table, this is how it will go. Once it gets to this edge of the table, this is the table here, edge of the table. Once it gets to the edge of the table, you want to dive from this table. You cannot dive and come down like this. You can't come like this, it's not possible. You can't come down like this. This is how you will come down. This is the way you will come down. You cannot come straight down like this, it's not possible. Okay? It's just impossible to come straight down. So, if the pool ball is skipped, just watch. If the pool ball is skipped. Let's watch. The pool ball is skipped from the from the table. Okay. It's skipped. I mean, sorry. A, a pool ball leaves a zero point six meter high table. This is the height of the table. Please let's watch. This is the height of the table. 0 0.6 meter. And the ball was skipped with speed. Watch please. Watch. With a speed of 2.4 meter per second. Okay. That's the ball. It was skipped with this speed. This is your V naught or anything you like calling it. 2.4. The ball is coming down. The ball is coming down. The ball is coming down. This is total velocity at any time t. This is total velocity at any time t. This is dy and this is dx. Okay. Now, the next thing you should do was predict the time required for the pool ball to fall to the ground. By the time the ball reaches the ground here, Eh? You have to find the, word, the time it takes to reach that ground. And the only longer distance between the table's edge and the boss landing location. This is the landing location. This is the table edge. See the table's edge. And it's like this. This is the table's edge. That line, that line down. This is the distance traveled horizontally, x. This is the y. Now, pool ball, watch this. When the pool ball lands on the ground. When the pool ball lands on the ground, it has covered two distances. One, it has covered a distance vertically, which is the height of the table. Two, it has moved horizontally, which is from the edge of the table to the landing point. This is the edge also, this is the edge. If you trace it down, this is the same edge also. If you trace distance down. You are finding distance X from here, from here to here, or from here, so here, yeah, the same thing. But the point we have to drive home is this. The point we have to drive home is that distance x travel is unknown. Time it takes to travel that x is unknown. But distance y travel is 0 0.6 meters. The velocity at which the ball was kicked horizontally is 2.4 meter per second. That is speed at which the ball was kicked horizontally. So we are finding X, we are given Y, we are given V naught. If you can recall, for horizontal projection, X is V naught T, Y is half GT squared, if you can remember. Also Y is GX squared all over to be not squared. Please, am I correct? Confirm. Am I correct? Yes, Abby? Yes, okay. sir. Now, this is the equation. Also, you go to find this final velocity just before it lands. Just before it lands, you find Vs. Vs remains V naught for life. This is Vs, you correct me if I make a mistake. This is Vs, and this is Vy. So Vs is V naught. 
VY is GT for horizontal projection. Don't forget. VX is V0, it doesn't change. VY is GT, it doesn't change. Okay. Total V remains square root of VX squared plus VY squared. That's total V, total velocity. At any time T, at a given time. So we are finding X. X means distance moved horizontally. If you go You have to as, as long as the ball is going like it's going like this. Sorry, where it has been. Sorry? Yeah, it's the same thing. You travel to this thing, two distances, y and what? X. Y and X. Having us to that. So which one can we find first? If we use this formula, S equals V naught T. We don't know X. We don't know T. So we can't start with this formula. Okay. Let's see this one. If you use Y equals half GT squared, we know Y. We know G. We can get T. We can get T. So we can say what? Y equals Y equals watch me please. Half GT squared. Please help me. What's our Y? 0 0.6. Y is 0 0.6. Thank you. Thank you. Y is 0 0.6. Okay. We have, we have 0 0.6 because R, R, what's G? G has to be 10. Stated, except stated otherwise. G squared. Except stated otherwise. So take two to this place. Two times, it has two year one. So you have five. So we have 0 0.6. 0 0.6 equals five t squared. So t squared equals 0 0.6 over five. What's 0 0.6 over five? What's 0 0.6 over five? 0.12. Thank you. What's now t? T is now square root of 0. 0.12. One, two. What is the square root of 0 0.1 to anybody? 0 0.35. 0 0.35. 0 0.35. 5, 3. 35 seconds. Thank you. Hope it's understood. Is that understood? Please confirm to me. Confirm it is clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So let's see number three. We have gotten time t at 0 0.3. 35 seconds, which means the time, it means that it takes the ball to go, to come from here, to come from this place, watch. Time it takes the ball to come from here and land here is 0 0.35 seconds, 0 0.35 seconds. Now we are asked to find the horizontal distance travel. That's we are finding what, X. In deep passage, you find X. Please help me. What is the formula for X? Help me. V not C. V not C. Thank you very much. V not C. What's our V not? 2.4. Our T is 0 0.35. So what's the answer? Please help me. 0 0.84. 0 0.84. Thank you very much. 0 0.84. So this is 0 0.84 meters. Don't forget about the time it takes to travel distance y vertically. The same time it takes to travel distance, distance x horizontally. Don't forget that projectile motion, any motion of a projectile consists of two independent motion. We have said that. Consists of two independent motion. What are these two independent motion? Vertical motion with constant acceleration, horizontal motion with zero acceleration. Every projectile motion has two parts, vertical component and horizontal component. But take note, velocity is constant vertically. I'm sorry, what am I saying? 
acceleration is constant vertically. Is it that plus or minus what? G. Acceleration horizontally is what? Zero. Now, watch, let's, let's restate it. Let's restate it in case there was, a, there was a confusion. A projectile motion consists of two independent motion. Horizontal motion with zero acceleration and vertical motion with constant acceleration. And because the acceleration horizontally is zero, that will make velocity to be constant horizontally. When, when A is zero, it means there is no acceleration. And it means our velocity is constant vertically. I mean, horizontally, because AS is what? Zero. Now, AY is plus or minus G, constant acceleration. There is acceleration, so it is, but it is constant. But because it is acceleration, there will be velocity that keeps what changing with what time. Let's see, we change with time for particle. Let's go on. Number two. Number two. Let's go on. Somebody is chatting me up. He said, I don't understand VS over VO. There is nothing like VS over VO. Okay. Or maybe you should elaborate. Jemima. Jemima, just pause and ask me the question. Ask the question. Pause. I mean, uh, um, so I was like, the part where you were saying something about VX being equal to V or V naught, something okay. like that. I didn't really get that area. VS. Come again. Say it again. The VX is equals to V O stuff. I didn't really get that point. That okay. V naught, V naught, okay. and VX. I was a bit confused. Okay. 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 Thank you. Let me clear that. I said horizontally. Welcome. Horizontally, the body moves like this. It goes like this. This is your VS. Your VS is equals to VO. Sorry. Is your VO, your initial velocity now. And it's the same thing everywhere. VS is the same as VO. At all times, your VS is constant. Your VS is the same thing as initial velocity. VO means velocity at time t equals to what? Zero. Velocity at time t equals to zero is called VO. So VS equals to VO means that what? Your velocity is constant horizontally. Your VS is always VO for horizontal projection like this. Is that okay? Confirm it's okay or it's not. If it's not okay, let me know. It's okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Understand. Thank you, sir. Welcome. So let's go on to the next question. Because we'll stop on this question. Then you you check your past question. Tell me any question you cannot answer. Or check your check what you have been trying to answer. Tell me the ones you can't answer. Sir. Okay. Yes, please. Um, for this question you just solved, I used like I didn't solve it like using projector. I used s equals to ut plus half gt. Then after finding time, I found the horizontal distance using ut plus half at square, where a is equals to zero. Can I solve it like that? Maybe in exam. Yes, we are doing OBJ exam. Nobody will know how you solve it. They will know how you solve it as long as we understand what you are doing. You said S equals to zero. Am I correct? You made use of this formula. Am I correct? Yes, yes, sir. And you put A as zero, Abby? Yes, that's for horizontal distance. A is God bless you. Perfect. You are correct. And you use the Y equals. Y equals. Next one, the y equals what? Ut plus, plus what? Half, I mean, half plus half half zero. Y, y, y. And you put u as y. one, yeah. Abby. You put u as zero, Abby? Yes, sir. As long as you understand what you are doing, perfect. Because yes, u yes, along sir. y, for horizontal projection, initial velocity along the y axis is zero. Because the body was never projected uh, 
it was never projected what uh, vertically upward. It was projected okay. horizontally. So you can put u as zero for y because ui will be zero initially. So you're correct. You're correct. Okay. Let's go. Number two says what? A ball is thick horizontally. Okay. Now this one made it clear to you that it is horizontal word projection. Horizontal. The first one did not make it clear to you. They said from 0 0.6 meter high table, the ball rolls down from the table. And that makes it horizontal projection also. Stop, mute yourself, please. Mute yourself. Mute yourself. So let's go on. So in this case, the ball is projected like this. And of course, it must, it must fall now. It has to fall. And after falling, it cover distance x and distance what y. It travels with velocity what v naught or u if you like. They said it's kicked horizontally of a 22 meter high eel. That height of the eel is your y, 22 meters. That's the height of the eel. The height where the body was thrown from is your y and lands a distance 35 meters from the edge of the eel. This, this is the distance from the edge, and it lands here. This is the edge of the eel. If you trace it up like this, is the edge of the eel. This is the edge. So distance from here to here was given to you as 35, 35 meters. And I said, determine the initial horizontal velocity of the soccer ball. We are finding V naught. What is V naught? That's the question. Who can tell me which equation can I apply? They gave me x as 35. They gave me y as 22. Which equation can I apply? Anybody? Now we y plus to gx squared over 2v naught. God bless you. You apply the equation of trajectory because I'm given just see this equation y equals gx squared over 2v naught squared. Why? Because this thing contains x, y, and v naught. This equation contains x, y, and v naught. So why not just go straight and apply it? Do some may say they want to use uh, y equals half gt squared. They now use it and get, they will get time. They now say s equals to v naught t. They don't know X and T. They will not get V naught. It's still the same thing. So let's go. What's Y? 22. Y is 22. Equals G is 10. X they gave us 35. I will square it. All over 2 V naught squared. This is now 44 V naught. 44 V naught squared. Equals, help me now. 35 squared times 10. Help me now. You have left me alone in the class. 12,250. 12,250. 12,250. 12,250. 12,250. So that means V naught squared equals 12,250 over 44. So V naught squared. V not equals the square root of, yeah, what's this guy? 12, 250 over 44 is what? 278.4091. Yeah, find the square root of, what is the square root of that? 16.68, 69. 69. Meter, meters per seven second. seconds. Good, thank you. Who got my answers? Who got my answers? You have me to put your video on. You know that. It. You are supposed to put your video on. I got your answer. I got your answer. You are meant to put your video on. I should check you at any time. I want to check you. You are meant to put your video on. Jemima, she's sleeping already. She has slept. I'm not sleeping. <laughs> I'm not sleeping. If your video is not on, I will, I will just think you are deceiving me. I must see your video. Ah, oh, okay. dress I said, uh, I said. And dress up. Put your video on. Put your video on. Demi, 
they meet in this class. They meet as slaves. Prince Agbola, Prince Agbola has left the class. Maybe something else. Look at the, look at the me. See, see her on a, on a comfortable chair. She's enjoying herself on a comfortable chair. Oh, Lord. Demi, are you sure you're not in front of TV? Are you sure you're not in front of TV, Demi? Look at her on a, on a comfortable chair. Is that chair used for lecture in school? Is that lecture school, uh, school lecture chair? See, please, now she came back. She has been off the line. She's watching TV. Me, I'm here. Aisha has gone off completely. She has gone off. I can't see from her again. I can't see many souls. I where, will. Is, where is this guy? Where is the man? Tolu Animi, he has gone off also. I'm here. I knew that. That's why I called you. I'm here. I can see you. <laughs> exactly. Imagine. Who is that one? That's Victoria. Victoria. <laughs> See, Victoria. She's just enjoying herself. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Any question on this topic? Yeah. Any question on this topic? Sir, I want to no, check sir. it. Check your PQ. Do you have any questions you want oh, okay. to ask? Okay. That you think you're not able to do? I'm yes, going to... I... yes, yes, I sent it to you on your WhatsApp. Check your WhatsApp. Okay, okay. Let me check. Is it direct message? Yes, yes. Okay, let me stop sharing. Okay, I've seen it recently. Can you see my screen now? Can you see my screen? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So let's see the question that she sent. You can see what she sent, Abby. You can see it. Yes, sir. It says, Yes, sir. A missile was to be launched. A missile was to be launched at what? At an angle, at an angle of 15 degrees to the horizontal. So you are launching it. Okay, sorry. Let me know. Let me know. Okay, good. Can you see that? Can you see the board? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Very well, sir. All right. So, the missile will be launched at an angle of 15 degrees to the horizontal. Now, this is not horizontal trajectory. Why? It was launched at an angle. This is an oblique projection. It was launched like this. It was launched at velocity what? This is always tangential. Velocity what? V naught. They didn't give us the value of the V naught. At an angle what? 15 degrees to the horizontal. Note, angle must always be to the horizontal. You can't use angle to the particle. You know what 
to hit a target 300 meters away. This is what a target. There's a target here. It just hits this target here, and it was 300 meters away. 300 meters away. Then I say calculate V naught. V naught and the maximum what height. Now the only mistake anybody can make, including teachers is to call this thing range. That's the only mistake we can all make and call this thing what range. This thing is not range, except we have no choice, except we don't have adequate information. They said a missile was to be launched at an angle of 15 degrees to the horizontal at an initial velocity V naught to hit a target 300 meters away. That means. As, it, as the body was going, it was not allowed to go. A target has stopped it. Which means what they gave you here is X, distance traveled horizontally. Now, this 300 meters is X and not what range. And X for oblique projection is V naught T cos theta, if you can remember. Can you remember that? Yes, sir. Now, we can use this directly. We can use this equation directly. We know x, yes. We don't know v naught. We don't know t. But we know angle. If you go to y equals uh, v naught t sine theta minus half gt squared. If you go to d Yes, I've gotten V not T from this place. Yes. We don't know T. We don't know why. We can't use it. There are two unknowns. If you go to Y equals X and theta minus GX squared over 2V not squared cos. I want to get what I'm saying perfectly cos square theta. We don't know why it was not given. We know x, we know theta, we know x. We don't know v naught, we know theta. There are two unknowns here, we can apply it also. Therefore, we have no choice again. We have to assume that 300 is the range. Who agrees with me? I do, sir. Sorry, did you, did you agree with me that we have no choice? We have to call this thing range. I want to agree or disagree with me. I want someone to agree or disagree with me. Why, sir? Good. Why should we agree? Because normally we shouldn't call this thing range. No. It said a missile was to be launched at an angle to the horizontal. At an initial velocity, V not to hit a target 300 meters away. How are we so sure that what? The target is actually where the range, where the body will have landed. How are we so sure that what? The target is actually where the body will have landed. How are we so sure? But in this case, we have to assume that 300 meters away. So take note. We will say what? Let's watch. We will say range. You can apply all this because the information is not available. We don't have the information to use all these points. Therefore, we have no choice. We assume range. So you assume that that 300 is your range. Nothing you can do. But never, never in your life at zone horizontal distance is range. Check the equation I wrote now and confirm that it's not possible to apply there. So range is 300 meters. We have no choice. And what is the formula for range? Who can help me? V naught squared sine two theta all over G is our range. And the range is given as 300 because what V naught? We don't know V naught. Sine two times 15 all over 10. So we have 3,000 because V naught square sine 30 degrees. 
So you can see, oh, hope you know what I'm doing, Sha. Please, please respond to me. Thank you. These three. Oh, that's awesome. God, bless you. God bless you. So we have 3,000 equals V naught square. What's sign 30? Help me now. 0.5. 0 0.5. So, 0 .5. So v naught squared equals 3,000 all over 0 0.5. So V naught squared equals 6,000. What's our V naught? It's now square root of 6,000. Answer, please. What's the root of 6,000? 77.5. 77.45. 77. 0.5 meter per second. God bless you. Don't forget what I said. Never in your life assume distance given horizontally is range, unless you have no choice. You just state your assumption that you assume it's range, okay? You assume the body landed where the target was. The body landed where the target was. The body may not even be able to land there if the target stops it. But we assume that the body landed where the target is. It landed here, and the target is also here. Normally, you are meant to say the target is somewhere else and not there. But in this case, we have no choice. We are getting very now. Now, maximum height. What is the point of maximum height? Maximum height is what? V naught square times all over two g. That's what's V naught? 77.5 square. Who is that? Who is that? You have PJT in there. You have PJT. If you want to move at all, let's be regular. So sign 30 or square. Sorry, sign what? Sorry. Please correct me. Sign 15 or square. This yes. sine square here means sine 15 and square it all over two times 10. Can someone give me the final answer? Can you punch calculator? Somebody should talk to me now. Give me the final answer. Sine 15. 20.117. 20. 20. 20. 20.11 one, one, okay. meters. It's okay. That's correct. That's correct. We sent assignments, okay, on this. Is that okay? Yes, sir. So can we stop here yes, now? Sir. Can we stop yes, here sir. now? Okay, sir.